For real? That's what you do for eight hours? <laughs> no, I'm working too. But <laughs> um, I sent my boss a keyboard I wanted today. <laughs> and I'm then? cool. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, I want a keyboard for my computer. She's like, okay, just let me know which one you want. <laughs> I want the Huntsman 60%. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no. <laughs> uh, so it's like, okay, just here's the credit card. <laughs> Roll the intro. Just bossing. Okay. Respectfully. Are right, you ready? My whistle is wet. Hello, everybody. What do you want? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Uncancelled Podcast. What a great start to the pod. <laughs> we're here and we're back again. Yeah, a little, little late. Uh, sorry about last week. We're, we're gone a week. We you got, got a little confused. It wasn't confused. The, the time got away from me, and there was a lot of things that went on this whole last week. I wasn't even home most of the time. Life happens. Yesterday, you know, I had to pick up my girlfriend from work because her diabetes was acting up. She couldn't even see. Oh, uh, well, that's not good. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> but we're here. We're back. We're live. Uh, I'm glad she's okay. She's okay, uh, right? Yeah, everything's fine. It's just, you know, sometimes when her blood sugar gets too low, then she can't drive home because blurry vision oh yeah safety first yeah so i had to freaking leave at like one in the morning and go pick her up i was already in bed hella comfy i was like damn does she get a handicap sticker or handicap not bike? yet she has to lose a finger or something first oh. <laughs> i'm waiting for the day <laughs> Just let me lose a one. limb <laughs> <laughs> Close parking forever. You know what's funny, dude? I feel, I feel, I felt so stupid the other, like the other day when we were driving. I never seen a red handicap sign before, in on a car, and I was like, "What does that mean? Super handicap?" <laughs> Super. What does red mean? Is that like a veteran handicap or something? <laughs> no, it means temporary. My girlfriend laughed so hard because she Super was like, handicap. "Super handicap." What the yeah, fuck? No You're so stupid. Like... <laughs> No, it means like temporary that like you got injured or something. I don't know. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, this uh, so yeah, today we have a pretty cool uh topic we're talking about. Um, I'm excited for this one. Um, we're just gonna each we each have a list of facts, interesting things. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go back and forth, just discuss it. You know, look it up like we did with the video games. Um, you know, just talk about it, go back and forth. Yeah, nothing crazy. Yeah. Well, the stuff we're gonna talk about is gonna be crazy. It's but you unusual know. facts that you wouldn't think is true, but is. And we spent. Yeah. I spent a, like a good two, three days looking this stuff up, and it's kind of hard because there's a lot of facts where just like this is kind of boring, like it's not good enough. Yeah. So I feel like. The ones that I picked and the ones that he picked, I hope are like super interesting enough to like where you guys are gonna be like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, I think mine are pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna try to dumb it down from like the worst ones that I have to like the best. That's okay, like, yeah, I was just thinking that to too. I was like, fuck. Uh, which one first? Okay, you go first. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me get my facts out. Let me get my facts out. I uh, cut my mustache off. Oh shit! That's right, you did. <laughs> you back I to look, the old you. I look, I look the same. It's funny because I, I feel like you are the type of person that hasn't really changed since we were younger. You, <laughs> you kind of always look the same all the way from like elementary school till now. You kind of just always yeah. look the same. Me, I feel like I've changed a lot. I feel like I look yeah. so different from when I was younger till now. Put. Photo of me and you, or whatever. I, dude, I wish we had a picture when we were younger, when we were like. Well, you know what I meant. Like, put. A, I, I'll send you a photo of young me, and then you put a photo of young a you. A photo of young me. No, but I mean, like, you know, we've always been friends like that. I, I wish we had like a picture of us, like you know, yeah. like, side by side. <laughs> that would but sick. even like, if you look up like that video, those old videos we did, you look different from 
Oh yeah, just a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know like why I've changed so much compared to yeah, how I looked back then. Yeah, you're ugly. What? A- <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like one of the main reasons was like my nose surgery too. It kind of like changed my entire facial structure. Yeah, no more Adrian Brody, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. You're like the only uh, person that ever said that. <laughs> you look. I don't know. You just look like that guy. <laughs> but you know, whatever. You don't want to be him anymore, or whatever. I don't man. want to, man. I wanted a nice straight nose where I could breathe normally. Which, coming into the first fact. Oh fuck! Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, fuck! I did not get a piece of paper. <laughs> I, <laughs> I got some right there. That's but, okay. We'll get it right now. But yeah. talking about noses, did you know that your nostrils only work one at a time? <laughs> <laughs> when we breathe in and out of our nose during the day, one nostril does most of the work at a time with duty switching every several hours. It's kind of weird, but I also like kind of get it. <laughs> yeah, because you know how one nose is always clogged? Yeah. Because one's always doing the work and then the oh, other Oh, my man's switches. tired. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's when like, he gets uh... fed up, you switch nostrils. My man's like, yo, I'm done, bro. I'm clogged. What does it say right here? The, it says that uh, uh, la, 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 the nasal cycle is dictated by the same autonomic. Did I say that right? Auto, atomic? Autonomic? Autonomic? You should, you should. Do you just have this in like a Word document? Or uh, are you it, looking at like a Google? I'm looking at a Google. Auton- autonomic nervous system? I think I'm saying that wrong. Autonomic? Auto? Nomic. <laughs> I'd have to see it, man. Uh, That's how it is. A U T O N O M I C. Autonomic? That's, that sounds good to me. <laughs> yep. Nervous system that regulates heart rate, digestion, and other uh, unconscious bodily functions. And this is the reason why. Never even thought about that. Human body's insane, man. Yeah, oh. I almost had a fact on here about the human body. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, at least it's not the same human body part. But that was a good, yeah. like, that was a good segue. Talk about wow. noses. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy Um, just how important your nose is. Like, your ear, nose, and throat are all, like, connected, all one, like, thing. Dude, yeah, um, like, the other, like, just a couple weeks ago, I had, like, a really bad, like, day where I was just, I was driving the forklift, you know, forklift certified or whatever, you know. <laughs> no, but I was driving, and then all of a sudden I felt like fish eye lens, tunnel vision, and like I felt like I was going to pass out, but it was because I had a sinus infection. That it turned sucks, out, dude. And I was like, dude, just the sinus infection, like, fucks up your whole entire, like, body function. It's kind of crazy how important your nose is. Yeah, I put your ass out of commission. You know, you can't smell, you can't taste. Uh, I remember when I had COVID that first time, not being able to taste anything was uh, devastating. Um, you had I, COVID? I heard about I didn't it. Really COVID. Yeah, I had it twice. Like when you twice? hear about it. Yeah, when you hear about it, like, oh, they don't have taste or smell or whatever. Like, ah, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. But then it's like you get that shit and it's like, wait, you're like eating something that you like because it tastes so good. And you're like, wait a minute. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> that shit sucked. Yeah, I ne- I've uh, never had COVID. I'm yet to get it at all. Knock on wood. The, I got really sick in California when I went to, like, go help. That's the COVID, company. man. No, dude, I took the test and everything, and I didn't get, and it was negative. The test was negative. I got super, like, dude, like, body ache sick, and I thought I had it. But I didn't yeah. have it. I still had taste and everything. It was just you know, I just had a bad fever, I guess. Yeah, that shit sucked. Um, yeah. Um, well, going from uh, nostrils. <laughs> nostrils. Uh, shit. I guess I'll do that one I was talking about. Um, mine's just not really like a fact. I just thought this would be. Which I sent it to you. And fuck, I probably should have sent this beforehand, right? Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) It's okay. Cut it out. Cut it out.
So bouncing off your uh, nostril thing, um, I'll, mine is about um, celebrities, like famous people that are the same age that when you see them, you're like, what the heck? Because uh, you don't really, you know, I don't really think about actors' ages. But then, I, I don't know, I looked this up, um, and I was looking down the list, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, in my brain, I knew that these people had to be these ages, but then, I don't know, seeing them next to each other is super weird. Uh, I thought it'd be cool just to like, scroll down um, and see some of the familiar faces. It just, you know, I think the first one's like Vin Diesel or some shit, yeah. No, the five, oh. Not that one. Okay, scrolling down. Oh, oh, Paul Giamatti and Vin Diesel, they're the same age? Yeah, and then like Gwen Stefani, uh, Gwen Stefani is... and Kate Bl- Blanchett. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Jay Z, Matthew Perry, Kim like Kardashian, Christian, Christiana Ricci. I don't even know who like most of these people are. To be honest with you, I don't know all these people. What? Okay, now that's kind of crazy. Gosling and fucking Macaulay Culkin. I'm a long kid. But which is crazy. Um, back when, uh, so Ryan Gosling was almost in In Sync. In Sync, yeah, or Backstreet Boys, one of those. Bye because bye. He was on, yeah, he was on uh, the Disney House Mouse Club uh, with Justin Timberlake, I think. One of those guys. He was like used to sing with them back on that shit. But instead of pursuing singing, he pursued acting. Um, Look at that movie yeah. facts. You got a little sub fact right there. A. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Matt Damon, uh, yeah, Whoopi Shaq Goldberg, and Chris Jenner, Shaq, and, Shaq Eminem. and Eminem. They're the same age for real. Damn, well, Shaq yeah. is Shaq seems so old. He's only forty eight. Yeah, he seems no so fucking old. way, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> How old was Kobe? He ran, dude. <laughs> dude, oh. what the fuck? Shaq seems like he's ancient, man. <laughs> <laughs> my my mom, my mom's. Uh, what year was he born? 72. My mom's older than Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Brad Pitt and Dean Norris, it, like, you could just tell who takes care of, like, themselves better. <laughs> My man smoked cigarettes. <laughs> you could tell he smoked cigarettes, too. But Adele and Vanette. Van- Van- oh, damn, for real? Adele looks hella old, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Will Ferrell. Uh, 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 but, yeah. You know, Kate Upton and Selena Gomez. That's pretty cool. 1992. Chris Rock, Matt McKelson. I don't even know who that is. That's uh, what Matt, do you mean? What's it? Mads McKelson? Mads Mickelson. He oh, was, Mickelson. Uh, I'll list off a few things he's done. Here we go. He was Hannibal Lecter in uh, Hannibal, the TV show. He uh-huh. was um, in Doctor Strange, the first one. He played the bad guy in that. Um forget his name. He, he's the one who replaced Johnny Depp in uh, Fantastic Beasts as Grindelwald. Uh, he was a uh, James Bond villain, I'm pretty sure. Uh, pretty cool guy. Great guy. Wow. Yeah. Chris Rock? Not. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Keep my slapped. wife's name! <laughs> I will! <laughs> Dude, I'm still... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I will. <laughs> like, chill out, bro. Run TV, dog. I remember when I, that first happened. Like, still to this day, like that has to be fake. The, yeah. Like <laughs> the whole still. the first two days, I was like, that, that has to be fake. There's no way uh, they did that on TV for fucking. Yeah. It like, looked like the slap looked fake until they slowed it down. Like people like broke down the video, and I was like, oh shit, he really slapped the shit out of him. And then my man won the Oscar. Give it to him. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh, it's fake because he he won the Oscar. No. no. And then like afterwards, Chris just stand there hella awkward when like he's getting his reward. Dude. Uh... <laughs> incredible incredible I was, i'm surprised he didn't talk about it on his last his uh most recent special but he said like uh he was saying that he already had an hour planned and he didn't want to waste his time talking about what happened he said he will make time for a new special to talk about what happened 
That's so crazy, man. I like I like Will Smith. Huge Will Smith fan. This is this doesn't make me like not like Will Smith. Yeah, yeah me neither. I mean, Will happens. Smith. You gotta be yeah, careful. Yeah, I mean, you gotta think about it too. I mean, he's been like I'm going through. The, he's he's been going through the ringer, especially with his wife cheating for such a long time, and with then, a child. Yeah, with like everything going on in his life, and he's always been the nice guy. He's always been yeah. pictured the nice guy. And then, you know, some people just finally break. I mean, he kind of just chose the wrong time to break. He picked but... <laughs> the wrong time to snap. My guy. Holy fuck. Because I remember when it happened, I was telling my girlfriend, I was like, you know what's about to happen? They're about to come out with a buddy-buddy cop uh, or, like, buddy-buddy comedy with Will Smith and uh, Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. Nah, dude, they they for sure aren't. On talking terms right now. There ain't no way. They are not buddy buddy. Fuck. <laughs> oh God. But yeah, that was insane. Um it's crazy to think about. Like my kids get older. Um and they're like watching, you know, Will Smith movies or Chris Rock movies. Or, well, Will Smith and they're like, What happened? Why did Will Smith stop making movies around uh when he was like, you know, fifty? What happened? What where'd he go? I'll be like, Yeah. Yeah. He can only be in the business for so long. I mean, he's been in there since he was a teen. So. Whoa. What about Clint Eastwood? Look what happened Look to him. him. <laughs> like, I don't no. Know what happened. <laughs> he's been doing shit forever. I say, I spoke Clint, Clint Eastwood? Yeah, Clint there Eastwood. There you go. You don't even got to. Dude. Like, look up his first movie. And then, like, now. Like, he just had a movie come out, like, this year. First movie was it Gran Torino? No, <laughs> no, that's not the first movie. What the hell? Uh, I don't what, what Rawhide, <laughs> dude. Yeah, fifty five filmography, yeah. dude. There you go. First one, Revenge of the Creature. He was in that. <laughs> Uncredited. Nineteen fifty five. My dad wasn't even alive. My dad <laughs> is almost seventy years old, bro. <laughs> what in the navy? Good lady, lady, what Godiva of dude? That's Coventry? this is. I, I'm just pointing him out because it's like I 100 percent agree. Because I think recently Brad Pitt came out and was like, "I'm almost done acting. I'm almost done." Cry um, macho. Yeah. Yeah, that's his most recent shit. Like, he's acting, bro. Not just, like, directing shit. Like, my man's just on like, screen, like, dying on screen, <laughs> bro. My man's so fucking old. Every time I see him, I'm like... And every, I'll talk to someone about it. And they're like, yo, he killed that shit. I'm like, no, he did not. He's the same fucking old dude in every movie. He's just, like... <laughs> like I literally was just talking about it at work like two days ago. Someone was like, "Yo, you see Mule?" I was like, "Yeah, it's okay." They're like, "Fantastic." I was like, "Like, calm down." I don't know about fantastic. It's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Um, I don't know. I've you, I've only seen a couple of his movies. I I remember that Gran Torino one. That was a pretty good movie. Yo, Gran Torino. Is up. Look it up. What do you mean is up? Just well, it's like the same story. Of what? Is up. Like oh, as up? up? It's the yeah, same like, movie. Look up, yeah, look up like Gran Torino and then type up. I bet you it's something up. Yeah, Gran Torino up. Yeah. Like this? Uh yeah, sure, there we go. <laughs> we, we got trailer. <laughs> it's a oh no. <laughs> <laughs> What's this about to be? I'm excited. Full screen that bitch. Come here, girl. What you looking at, old man? Never knows how you come across somebody once in a while. That's me. Are you crazy, man? Get out of here, man. Dad, you worked hard your whole life. Maybe it's time you started thinking about taking it easier. It's a good movie. Nothing like what you think. They what up with Gran Torino? <laughs> Same thing, bro. No, uh, yeah, both of them. But up. My kids love that movie. Every time they see it, they like that one. I'm like, hell yeah. 
I'll sit down Dorothy and watch this. mentioned specifically that it was her desire. Yeah, okay, you can stop. To <laughs> and I confess that I have no desire to confess. But yeah, it's the same story. Uh, elderly, eight, eight, uh, elderly white dude, like befriends like a young Asian boy. Uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, I saw a TikTok about it. <laughs> I was like, "What?" Should have pulled up the TikTok. Fuck! Well, sorry, it's just a spur of the moment. We just <laughs> started talking about no, it. No, it's like we're going on some tangents again. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Um. Oh my God, Chuck Norris is eighty. <laughs> my man is eighty-two years old. He was born in nineteen forty. Holy Christ! Damn, that man is fucking old as shit. He's not dying. That man is old. Man is yes. ancient. The guy who played Dumbledore in the third one onward is also 80. But he looks 80. That <laughs> old motherfucker. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Ah, man, dude. My my facts are, are sounding lame as fuck now, dude. <laughs> okay, dude. But let's just keep it going. Okay, but yeah. I'm don't getting, judge a book by a cover. I'm getting the worst ones out, and then the next three are good. Oh, wait, let me grab a piece of paper. How big a paper we need? Just a regular piece of paper, but that's going to be the next one. It's not this one. This, I got to get blank? this one out of the way. It doesn't matter. But yeah, did you know... That roller coasters were invented to distract Americans from sinners. Or from sinning, not sinners. What? what? <laughs> yeah, dude. Roller coasters were invented to distract Americans from sin. Uh, what's his name? Lamarcus Thompson hated that Americans were tempted by, like, you know, salon or saloons and, uh, and uh, brothels. So yeah, he, that, those are lit. So he set it out straight, went to like the worst place, Coney Island in New York, and he built. Was that the first amusement park? Yeah, he built the first roller coaster. Wow! For some good, clean fun. So he's like, <laughs> instead of on. getting laid and having sex with hookers, <laughs> come ride this roller coaster. That's a great get way your... to get your fix. Yeah, you're. Your your boner will go away when you're done with this ride. I'm pretty That's sure, crazy. like, I'm, like back that. back then, a roller coaster, like you don't terrifying. think, yeah, you, like you don't think about it now, <laughs> but like the very first roller coaster, you're like, what the fuck is it? And you, and I feel like it probably worked. You know what I mean? Like, it's yo, more, you might die. You might uh, die, but this is fucking lit. Uh, screw those girls at that brothel. Come risk your life for some fun. <laughs> like, dude, yeah, I'm there. That does sound lit. I saw um, that. I saw that. Like, speaking of that, I don't know why. Like, you, you know, uh, like circuses and stuff. I saw this meme. Oh, man, I, I think I, w- I, I could probably find it. I'll, if I find it, I'm post right here. It said, it said like the 1800s, the 1800s, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the circus, and then people with disabilities <laughs> money <not> funny. <laughs> <laughs> just so stupid <laughs> yeah man what a crazy time it must have been bro i think about just living back then um just any like even like i went to movies and watched 42 uh and that was that took place in like the the forties, the fifties. Forty two. Yeah, the Jackie Robinson movie. It follows Jackie Robinson, the you know first black baseball player. Uh-huh. Um, it just like seeing that, seeing what he had to deal with, just like you know, sixty years ago or whatever, eighty years ago, is insane. Well, you just gotta think about like the movie is just like uh uh Charlie Chapman fucking side scrollers and then people going crazy over it yeah that shit's about to... moving pictures what? they're making a movie about charlie chaplin and my boy toby mcguire is playing him for real he seems like yeah. charlie chapman but a bunch of people are in that movie it's called uh babylon uh i think it's babylon 
Oh uh, yeah, and it's gonna be uh I don't know. Um it's Damien Chazelle's making it a guy who did La La Land and Whiplash. Um but it's gonna take it follows the period of time in Hollywood where they're going from silent film to talking film. Let's see, what else yeah. is there uh other amusement that were amusement rides that were first? It says the carousel was first. What was the first in the slingshot? 18- 80s. This is the first slingshot? Bro, that must have been terrifying. How many people have died on that? Slingshot's fucking terrifying. I just saw a kid die on one the of them. The reverse bungee, also known as a catapult bungee. Well, let me put it up right here. 1978. Oh. The reverse bungee, also known as the catapult bungee, slingshot, or ejection sheet, is a modern type of fairground ride that was invented by Tori... Uh, Troy, God damn, dude. My fucking reading is horrible. Troy Griffin in uh, 1978. When was, uh, it needed to read. When was this one? Uh, 1880s. Oh, so the carousel. The carousel and the roller coaster were kind of invented at the same time. Wow. That's insane, bro. But yeah, I, uh... it's 1978. Wow. Wow! Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> Dude, have you ever had like the urge to do one of those, or like no. just stay far away from it? I'm good, bro. <laughs> what a slingshot! Yeah, I'm good. I want to do it so bad. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, I'm okay, so I want to like skydive and like do all that. I'm stuff. down to skydive. Let's go. Like, Let's go right that'd now. That'd be that'd be a sick vlog right there. It's nine o'clock. Let's go, dude. There's, <laughs> there's skydiving somewhere, bro. Indoor, bro. Midnight Indoor skydiving. skydiving. Indoor skydiving, that's bro. Same. That's not the same thing. No, bro, I'm down, bro. <laughs> go, uh, I always see the billboards like, skydive today. <laughs> 50 it's bucks. so expensive. No, it's not 50 bucks. We got to <laughs> ask someone. Someone we know or someone we went to high school with has, I think, who did I see went? Uh, fuck, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. I'm down, though, dude. No one's ever down. I'm down. Uh, I just know yeah, it's expensive. Man, well, it's like one hundred fifty. <laughs> no, it's way more. It's like two to three hundred dollars. Look it up. No, not right now. But I'm down, bro. <laughs> uh, okay, so bounce it off of your fact about uh, roller coasters getting your boners to go away. Um, my fact: um, the Food and Drug Administration, known as the FDA. Uh, has a handbook detailing the levels of insect fragments and other gross contaminants that are safe for humans to consume in specific foods. What? The FDA says peanut butter can have no more than an average of one rodent hair per 100 grams. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, (laughs) An apple... An apple is safe to consume and sell and eat and all that um, if the mold is no more than 12%. Bro, did you know that super yeah, gross. Did you know that supermarket apples can be up to like a year old? <laughs> are they like frozen? <laughs> are they frozen or something? I don't know. I read that fact earlier today now that you said apples. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, supermarket apples can be, oh, look, there it goes, can be a year old. The average supermarket apple, apple is over a year old. In warehouse Yum. settling, they often sit at least 9 to 12 months, and an investigation showed that, on average, apples are 14 months old. Them preservatives, what is, boy! What does a fucking fresh apple taste like? I probably <laughs> never tasted a fresh apple in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these facts and sub facts that we're getting just because we're spitting. It I out. hate my life, bro. I'm gonna cry. This genuinely makes me want to cry. <laughs> like, imagine people back in the day just fucking slaughtering a fucking like cow in the field and just <laughs> eating it raw that night. Like, what the fuck am I gonna eat for dinner tonight? Pizza I ordered last night. What the <laughs> fuck, dude? Uh <laughs> bro <laughs> oh shit <dude. laughs> that's insane uh, i hate my life 
day, bro. <laughs> Let's live like that, dog. <laughs> like what? <laughs> 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 Live like what? what? <laughs> you, you just randomly spit that out, dude? What do you mean? <laughs> Live like that. <laughs> One second. Where there's, where there's no preservatives, yeah, you know? Fuck, dude. And no preservatives, no- you know. None of that bullshit. We're just fucking like, ah, uh, like you know, watermelon. Bro, the okay. whole bro, we could all live for free. We just chose to, you know, have a stepping ladder on top of each other. Man, I, I one of the facts I saw was saying that there's like seven million empty homes in the America or some shit. Um, and then there's like three point five million like homeless people. So, so like, there's more houses than fucking homeless. Yeah, so it's like we could solve homeless, and then it's like the rich people there are. But then it's like the you know say a shit like this is I don't know like the rich people there are could combine their money and and fucking you know world like give everyone enough money to pay for all their bills. But so where there there's also a thing that I've like was I don't it's not a fact it's something that I thought about right if yeah. everybody once a month were to give one dollar to a bank, right? Yeah. Just one dollar out of your fucking your wage, just once like once a month, you can solve like poverty, dude. Because that bro. money can go to the, a person every month <laughs> for That's years, like, Seven right? And then billion dollars, dude. And then the circulation of money, nobody would be poor, right? And it's like, we don't even have to do it. It's like, you're already taxing us. Just take that extra $1 out of my fucking taxes and end h- homelessness. That's I remember sad. when we worked at Quest back in the day, I remember thinking, I'm like, yo, the perfect, um, not perfect, but someone should start a fucking labor union with homeless people and just have, just go find all the homeless people you can fucking find. Have them, you can have them live like build a super warehouse with like places they can live and shit, and then just keep them there, like take care of them so that they don't like do like anything crazy. That sounds um, like uh, that movie. Uh, Sorry to bother you. Ah, uh, you know where they had that? Like, you haven't seen that? No. Oh, it's on Netflix. It's uh, it's about this black character that gets into uh, uh, like customer service and yeah. he there's something about in the movie where there's like working and living at work so you basically just work to live and you have free housing free food and all this stuff and uh the his part of the story was he couldn't get any money um using the customer service like he was like struggling to get comp like the what's called the constant compensate compensation not compensation what's it called the commission commission and he was get he was trouble having trouble getting commission because he had a black voice so the guy yeah. next to him was like use your white voice and then once he started using his white voice he started getting hella money yeah man it's like that uh it's it's insane um i don't remember what we were talking about preservatives and solving world hunger and <laughs> oh yeah dude like um when you like think about how much like a billion dollars is that's an absurd amount of money it is an dude. absurd and there's people with hundreds of billions of dollars well, like you, th- you, you, you gotta not think just about, one person you gotta think about like all the casinos here in, in vegas how much food is wasted at the end? Of, it's dude. We do. You we worked that. You. I mean, we've worked the back side of fucking at Quest, those, yeah. building stages and all that stuff. Going through the whole the like the back hallways. It's just like carts and carts and carts and carts of food that's about to be going thrown away. Like you could just shame. have something in the back where like homeless people or whatever can come and get their food but no Every they just day, throw it yeah. Away. yeah they throw it away at the end of the day it's just it's crazy bro how much food we waste gotta just start a company that goes around to all those casinos and just gathers up not even just casinos just i've seen tiktoks of like 7-eleven workers that do that now that they are like 
leaving the bag of all the good food out of the dumpsters so that people can grab it. Cause it's like, it. Yeah, I've seen that too. I'm just like, fuck, bro. It's insane. Um, but yeah. Yeah, dude. Like yeah. The food that they have at the casinos is being uh, given to like the pig farms and stuff. But they don't need that much food, bro. Yeah, those pigs are eating right. Um, but yeah, <laughs> FDA, uh, pretty gross. There's a whole, you can look it up. There's a actual, I was reading it for a little while. There's a whole book like article thing you can read um that just details certain percentage of things that are allowed to be in food you know like a certain amount of mold that can be on something that could be that's safe to eat you know like different fruits and vegetables and like how much inf- infestation of certain bacteria can be on it Dude, you can you can kind of tell Disgusting. like when uh something's older than another because like sometimes when you go to the the grocery store and you get like a loaf of bread and like two or three days later there's mold. Then there's sometimes you get yeah. the same loaf of bread and it lasts for like two weeks. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. I freeze mine. I have one right now that like I just <laughs> threw it away because it was um That's <laughs> a good idea. I should start doing that because I don't really eat that much bread. Yeah, no, I buy two, I buy the two pack, I free keep one out, I freeze one. Um but I had one recently that I threw away because it was like I didn't eat it, and it sat on the fucking counter for so long and didn't grow any molds. I was like, I don't trust your ass, bro. You're going in the garbage. So I just threw it away. <laughs> I took the I'm one out of the freezer. Some, some of them like, like they don't get yeah. mold for weeks, and it's bro. Weird. I smelled and it and everything. I was like, no, there's no way you're still good. You're was fucking it still weird. soft or was it like hard? Dude, yes, bro. It was good. It smelled good. It felt like fucking bread. There's no mold. I was like, nah, I'm just gonna, I'll just, I'll just take the new loaf out. Fuck that. I don't know, man. That's weird. Spooky demons or some shit, bro. I'm good. Um, but yeah, your turn. My turn. All right, dude. Uh, let's do the, I'm gonna do, all right, we're gonna save the paper for last because this, that's a good one. That's a good one. This, I know what what it is. Is, this is the fourth act? You know what it is? What? This is the third one. This is the third? Yeah. Was it? I don't lose well, I got roller coaster. Um, what else did I say? Your your nose. My nostrils. And then the other one. What was the other one? That was it. Oh, well, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait. Wait what? a damn minute. Wait Where a damn I? minute. Where am I? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Anyways, <clears throat> so ready, my third fact of the day is, did you know screensavers used to actually mean screensaver? Like it was... Uh... It would protect your screen because in the early days of computing, monitors were called CRTs, cathode ray tubes. Uh, they worked by firing an electrical beam into the <laughs> phosphorus. What? What, dude? What? What, dude? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm fucking reading here, bro. <laughs> Leave me alone. I thought this was such a cool fact. <laughs> what, dude? I'm sorry, bro. It's funny. Uh, okay. Just cut that out. I'm sorry. No. Put it back in. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what was funny? Tell me. I, I don't know. I didn't know where you're going with it. Dude, I'm I'm explaining why it was called the screensaver, bro. <laughs> it was just funny. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> well, anyways, what I was saying was they're called it was called a CRT cathode ray tubes worked by firing an electrical beam into a phosphorescent screen uh they were essential because if the image stayed on the screen too long then it would burn the image onto your screen forever so that's where we got the name screensaver and then it kind of just got merged over to you know beautiful pictures waterfalls and whatever yeah i've seen that um like screen burns um 
You know what I mean? Uh-uh. Like I had a TV one time that. Uh, oh yes, old TVs used to do that a lot. It wasn't even an old one. I forget what the fuck. Um, I, we just watched like so much Netflix or something, so that it doesn't matter what you were on. You could always see like the boxes of, <laughs> of like the, which profile which... you were on. <laughs> I was like, "What is that?" Um, but yeah, that's cool. That's yeah, interesting. Dude. I thought it was fucking a dope ass thing to like spew and out. It's like, look at this now. Like, <laughs> look what we came at. I don't even have all oh, my phones over here. Oh, my head. I, I my got head three just... screens. I got three different screensavers. <laughs> yeah. At first, I thought you said green savers. I was like, no, screensavers. Yeah. Yeah. I got that. My bad. But that's cool. Um, Gotta love technology, man. It's insane uh, how far technology's come. And it's like barely even. Like, I saw this thing. It was saying that from the time they discovered how to fly, I forget what the fucking fact was. It's just like the time period from when they learned how to fly and from, I think, going to space was like, you know, 50 years or something, which That's is like, crazy. what? That's yeah, a like long time. Well, I mean, you gotta think of that. That's just like the amount of mechanical work and figuring. That's out not this. a lot. I think that's like a not a long time at all. Like, like oh, we figured out how to fly. Like, let's go to fucking space, dude. <laughs> like, what? How, how? What? What are you talking about? How is that the next step? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I guess they're um, like blue skies, nightly space. Let's go to fucking space Let's instead of the ocean. Fucking, like not even knowing that you can go up there and just die. I mean, what, how just how do how do they figure out that there was no oxygen? Sending I'm monkeys dumb. up there and watching them explode. <laughs> no, they did it, bro. Ain't no way, bro. You know how many people, how many monkeys and animals and shit they sent up there that never came back. <laughs> I was literally just watching a video to earlier on break um, about. Apollo um, uh, 18, which Apollo 13. It was fake. Apollo 13, which was the one that happened after Apollo 11. 11 was the one with Lance Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Lance Armstrong. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Um, And that one was where those dudes almost got lost in space. Um, They they made a movie about it. (laughs) Isn't it called Apollo 13? Yeah, with Tom Hanks. (laughs) It's a good movie. I was gonna watch. I think I'm gonna watch that today. Um, terrifying, bro. Fuck. Like nah, I, that's one thing. That man, just the what about the depths of the man? ocean. I'm good. <laughs> Dude, I can't even get past like like chest level. I'll start freaking out. Ugh, bruh. Yeah, no. Like, uh, if, I, if I can't see my toes, I'm going back. There's just there's no uh, way. That's terrifying, bro. Yeah, imagine just. Falling out of, like, the back of a cruise ship because you're fucking fucked up. You're drunk. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night and just like, oh, oh fuck. my God. Like, oh, they'll come back. And then just like, <laughs> bro, just, back. oh, fucking fuck. You I am so way. tired. <laughs> <laughs> just tsunami. <laughs> just the tsunami, bro. No. <laughs> That'd be dead. Just like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just dude, the real image you just gave me about fucking swimming figure eights for like five minutes, bro. That's, just, <laughs> bro, that's fucking just, horrible. Uh, dude. Uh, <laughs> You're doing they'll this. come back. <laughs> yeah, they'll fucking come back. Swallowing they'll water back. from those fucking high waves in the middle. Yeah, of the sea. I just eventually just not able to. Come back up, just oh, I'm dead. bro. I can't even be buoyant enough to like do the fucking starfish thing. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> God, that would be awful, bro. Uh, uh, dude, I'm fucking crying. That was just funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I almost had a fact about a uh, tsunami. That's funny. The world's largest tsunami was 1,700 feet tall, bro. Can you imagine seeing that coming? Where? Yeah, can you imagine like in Alaska, bro? It was because uh. A earth like a giant piece of rock fell three thousand feet off a fucking mountainside into the, like the bay, and it triggered you know a huge 
like shock wave that sent all the water and the wave got up to 1700 feet at the highest um bro imagine like waking up like per, per uh, first uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> look outside just pro surfers uh, over here like a so wave! I'm, sh- I'm shredded, daddy! <laughs> Bro, oh dude, uh, yeah, imagine that shit. You're in Alaska, dude. Nothing ever happens in Alaska, dude. And you just <laughs> wake up in the morning, it's supposed to be bright, and you just see a shadow when you look outside. It's yeah. a goddamn wave. Yeah, it was a terrible fucking thing. Uh, it happened in, um, uh, I think in the 50s. It was in the fifties or seven, something like that. So there's there no a video. video on it? Oh, damn it. No, I was look it up. <laughs> I know. I was trying to get the video, but, I, but there's not. I feel like there wouldn't be a video that would survive if it hit a town. Have you seen? Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> live streamed it. <laughs> oh. Tsunami, bro. This is it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, thanks for the Twitch Prime, bro. Let's see what it <laughs> Yo, can I have your cow, bro? You're about to die, dog. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Oh, my uh, God. Uh. Thanks for the gifted. Like, yo, who's gifted, my man? Subs right now. It's a waste of a Twitch Prime. I got 30 seconds left. Let's hit this boy with the raid. The biggest raid <laughs> of my life. It's my dude, my fucking 10 minutes of fame, finally! I'm getting raided. I got 30 fucking viewers. Yeah! <laughs> Just die. Oh, God. Um, was that yours? I don't even remember what your fucking fact was. <laughs> yeah, oh, fact screen was tubes or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, oh, okay. But speaking of tsunamis, this one's real good. This one's really good, actually. Oh, <clears> shit. <throat> Since from the, in the years from 1950 to 1980, in that those years, the U.S. government lost six nuclear weapons. <laughs> lost? Yes. Uh, multi- uh, multiple of them were uh, because the plane that was carrying them... Uh, it was going to crash because it had like malfunctions or it was too heavy. Um, and they didn't want to crash with a nuke. And so they just dropped it in the ocean. And so it, a lot of them are still just in the ocean to this day. Um, not really waiting to be found because, you know, it's like the fucking ocean is so vast. And it was, they dropped them a long time ago. The earth rotates. So it's like no way to even pinpoint where exactly they were. Um like one of them, the one I wrote down was that there was a jet that was sitting on the deck of an aircraft carrier, um, and it just rolled off the deck and sank into the ocean with the pilot, with the nuke, uh, everything just sank to the bottom of the ocean. Oh shit! The pilot never too? to be found. Yeah, everyone, all of it, oh, never to be found again. Uh, and it was eighty miles. They didn't say anything for two years to anybody. It was they were eighty miles off the coast of the Japan Islands. And they didn't say anything, but when they finally did, they said that they were like 300 miles out to sea, no one's in danger. Um, and then you know they did research and learned that that boat was stationed 80 miles off the shore. Um, but yeah, there was a few <laughs> others that were similar, you know, like a B-47 carrying a bomb crashed into another plane, and you know they were trying to have a good landing in order to do so. They needed to drop the bomb, so they just dropped it in like the the fucking the bay. Ocean. Not some of them aren't even in the middle of the ocean. Some of them are like, like the coast. Oh shit! Yeah, it's insane. Uh, it's worth looking into. It's a lot of like, holy shit! The, you know, the government's insane. Some of them are. Uh, one of them is like in the middle of, like, Idaho or some shit. Some like, plain state. It's just buried somewhere. They just buried, waiting to be blown up. Just yeah, one some, wrong uh, move, one wrong earthquake. <laughs> Dude, yeah, um, insane that they're just like that. Just shows again back going back to the ocean, just how vast the ocean is. That there's like whole planes, not even speaking about these nuclear planes, but whole like passenger planes have crashed in the ocean and vanished, like with black boxes with tracking, just vanished. Like what? What are you talking about? Like that one flight, that Malaysian flight, just vanished into thin air crash into the ocean never seen again is it all because of the bermuda triangle i don't know man 
Amelia Earhart, like, there's all conspiracy about her. I've seen stuff that, you know, she landed somewhere and she lived and died an old lady. Um, she didn't crash into the ocean like they said she did. Um, Where did she land? Oh, I don't know. I didn't, I don't remember. I didn't, should have looked that up, I guess. But, you know, she just landed somewhere. There's, like, video or a picture of some lady sitting, like, on a dock in front of, like, a uh, boat plane, like, you know, feet in the water. And she kind of looks like her from the back, so people are like, oh, that's her. But it was taken, like, years after um, she, just she was presumed, yeah, she was presumed lost. Um, but, yeah, respect to Amelia Earhart. Was that your, was that your fourth fact? Uh, no, I like still have, fact? yeah, I still have, I, got, I still got a banger, dude. <laughs> I guess I'll just spit out my, uh, four and five just because they're the same thing. Okay. So anyways, my last two, just because they're kind of the same thing or kind of have the same concept is the piece of paper. Did you know you can't fold a piece of paper more than eight times? I watched Mythbusters. And? Did, did you watch Mythbusters? Yeah. They did that on Mythbusters. No, I don't remember. No, you didn't watch it. They fucking rented out like an aircraft like fucking building, bro, and had like a piece of paper that was like a mile long and tried to do it. <laughs> they folded it like 48 times or some shit. <laughs> For real? Yeah, look at that, bro. Well, that don't count. I'm talking about a regular piece of paper. All right, you can't, I'm you ready. can't, Sorry, you can't I fold it. it more than eight times. Ready? It has to be like even, right? Yeah, be, like, even, even fold. squares. Even. See, that's squares. one. Can I go like this? I mean, rectangles. Well, I mean, I it has wrong. to go end to end. This is end to end, right? Yeah. So that's what I got. One. Okay, I'm gonna go long ways to be different. Two. Three. Four. You got to show it on the camera, dude. Oh, shit. Three. Five. I got five folds, and this is getting tough. You Six. Work out. And uh, I don't think I can fold seven, bro. There ain't no fucking way, dude. It's called uh, physics. Seven! I can't get to fold seven, bro. I can't even get seven! <sighs> All right. Uh, I got see? seven, dude. There it goes. Seven folds. You want to see 11? <laughs> 11? You didn't do 11. I know. Here's my seven. <laughs> you got seven? Oh, yeah. shit. Where did my paper go? Oh, wait. I think that's seven. And then we can't fold it more than seven times, right? But if you could fold it more, if you fold a piece of paper 42 <laughs> times... It will reach the moon. <laughs> like, you're not gonna explain? I, I just wanted you to take it in because you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, as you Hold see, this is six times, right? All right, now imagine seven, right? And then eight, and then nine, because it doubles every time. Okay. So by the there's there's a math equation. Maybe I could pull up the math equation. I've seen something similar to that. Like you have veins, enough veins and capillaries in your body to wrap around the Earth, like three and a half times. That's gross. Oh shit. Is that point? Right, you see this? It says forty-two folds will get you to the moon. Eighty-one folds of paper will be. Uh, 127,786 light years. 81 folds. Dog, I was, I just saw an article about uh, 42 is the number of the universe. <laughs> is this a sign? Why is this happening? <laughs> no, no fucking sh What the fuck? Look. At a hunt, what's, what's it? At 103 folds, you will get outside of the obs observable universe which means it's estimated 93 billion light years in diameter just 103 folds of paper bro that's insane i remember where i saw that i was at Where'd work today it? um and i was just on google and i was just yep just working 
And I was just on Google and uh, on their Google, go to Google's homepage today. Hold on, I want to see the the mathematical equation. There's like a equation for it. It's like something crazy. Super crazy. Equation. Oh, there it goes. There it is, right there. That's the equation. Let me zoom it in. For my I know that. Blind folks. I don't even know how to say this equation. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the equation <laughs> of thickness for to get to the moon. Okay, go to Google. Just click Google. What the fuck? Uh huh. Click Google. All right, click that. Journey through Google's history. What? Oh, what? I, I was looking at that at work today, and there's one on there that was like that they designated 42 is like your browser or device is unable to preview this experience you may need to upgrade your browser you're a loser bro what the i was fuck? at work i was at work watching that <laughs> with your shitty computer and it's doing better than mine what does this even mean i have like the fucking best computer well not the best but it's a pretty great computer <laughs> i think you just need to upgrade your like google uh, but yeah no it was just saying that 42 is like Google like deemed it the number of the universe or some shit, but it was just a reference to uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because they say that in that movie. But yeah, you wouldn't think all. you wouldn't think that forty two folds would would fucking hit the moon. That shit's so crazy to me, dude. Because like when you fold it once, right? Look how thin it is, bro. It's like the same. But then when you fold it twice, it's still the same. It takes it would take you three days to get to the moon. <laughs> From what? If you, if you flew there. It takes you three days? In a rocket ship, yeah. <laughs> I'm going on a trip. <laughs> You're I'm like, going how? On a like, trip in my baby if you rocket. walk, bro, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I didn't know what you meant, bro. I was like, what? Yeah. Building a piece of paper? <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, my hand, tell me. Yeah, no, if you flew in a rocket ship, it would take three days. <clears throat> Yo, are you ready for this last one I got? Well, I mean, you got four and five because I did mine four and five. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> uh, this is four and five. Um, uh, everyone is familiar with uh, Charlie the Chaga Factory, Willy Wonka and the Chaga Factory, uh, Big Friendly Giant, maybe, um, Fantastic Mr. Fox, uh, Matilda. You know, a few few of Rolled Dolls uh, titles. I think everyone's heard of one of those at least. Willy Wonka uh -huh. or Matilda. Uh -huh. Did you know that Rolled Doll was the influence behind James Bond? What? Yes, he was a spy for the United Kingdom during World War Two. He came to America and slept with many, many, many rich, powerful women uh, to acquire information. I'm trying um, to look it up. And so, Rolled Doll. Oh, I, Roald Dahl I spelled was, Roald Dahl. <laughs> I spelled it Rolled Doll. Yeah, he was friends with uh, Richard Fleming. Uh, that's probably not his name. The guy who, who uh, made James Bond. He was friends with, uh, yeah, he was friends with the author. Um, I think, yeah, he also wrote, because he was a writer. Yeah, he also got to write one of the books or the movie or whatever, The You Only Live Twice. But yeah, so when, what's his name? Ian Fleming? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I thought that was insane. Um, so yeah, he was tasked with going to America and getting in good with the rich women. And pushing the anti-Nazi agenda all across America. Because it was like, you know, World War II. <laughs> um, yeah, that's insane. <laughs> and he also, then he also wrote Willy Wonka. And he and, wrote Willy Wonka? And Matilda and all those classics. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, James Bond. That was my... <laughs> That was my four and five. That was four and five? Mm-hmm. It was, it was in there. So does that here. mean that we're... What? <clears throat> I can come up with five right here. Here I go. I'll come up with six. Sorry. 
Um, do you have like a fact that you know that you just tell people randomly and it makes you feel cool because they're like, what the fuck? Uh-uh. Um, let me think. Uh, I don't have any cool facts. Uh, I do now. <laughs> Fucking roll dolls. Do, I do know a good fact: the opposite sides of each die always equals heaven. <laughs> you had a die on end. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that one. Three, seven, six, seven, <laughs> two, seven. <laughs> yes. Got him. I got a domino. This is where when my kids play with the board games or the toys or whatever. And the pieces don't make it back in the box. They end up here on the shelf. shelf. Until eventually we play that game again and they make it back in the box. See, I got some Scrabble pieces. (laughs) Yeah. See, that was a cool fact that I knew from the top of my head. Oh, damn. Uh, Hitler forced his wife, who was like 14 years old, to kill herself with him. They died together. I think so. Really? I, I just, thought he, I thought he just shot himself. I think he just died, but he like <laughs> wanted her. I think he wanted her to do it. He's like, oh. hey, we're gonna do this shit. I'll, I'll go first though. Like one, two, three, go. And she was like, <laughs> "What's that? You die." <laughs> <laughs> just got you, fucking idiot. Rested, fucking hell, you dummy. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's fucking hilarious. You know that he got like a Nobel Peace Prize too. Mm, not cool guy. That guy sucks. <laughs> well, he, Hitler got a Nobel Peace Prize. I forgot what for, but I know he got one. Hitler well, you step back Nobel and think about, Peace Prize. When you think back to what he did, it says he's like, Hitler, the German dictator behind the Holocaust that killed. About six million Jews was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize in nineteen sixty or nineteen thirty nine by a Swedish MP when the world was on the brink of the bloodiest conflict in modern history. But what was it about? My man, smart. But what did he get? Um, what did he get a Nobel Peace Prize for? He got nominated for it. Uh, probably like killing jews or something <laughs> for being a fucking massacre dude when you think so hitler is like voldemort um and he's like that line in the first harry potter when harry's there talking to olivander that first time getting his wand and he's telling him about voldemort or he who shall not be named he's like he was a great wizard he did terrible things terrible but great um I don't think he means great, like, in a positive sense of the word, you know. But, like, he just did insane things in the skate. Like, that's how, like, fucking Hitler is. Um, He did terrible things. But when you step back and look at, like, what one fucking guy was able to, like, do and, like, lead people to do is insane. Manipulate. People are just fucking sheep. Like my man was, he got all those got all these people to kill millions of people. It's crazy to think that in any setting, no matter what, people need a leader, no matter what. If you think about it, like apocalypses, whatever the fuck, whatever the whatever the world comes to, people need a leader, or else they cannot live on their own. <laughs> Me, I'm the. I need a leader. I I'll say the all. Leader. I'll say I'll be the leader. Fuck you. <laughs> no, yeah. Kill myself. It's 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 crazy, bro. People are literally just sheep and follow whoever is the strongest yeah. minded person and uh fits your like agenda. Fuck, dude. That's why cults yeah. are a big thing. Yeah, man. Uh uh Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> 
hysterical. <laughs> but they get uh, they get to have many wives. That's pretty sweet. You could have many wives. No, I can't. She won't let me. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Well, all right, dude. That was our fucking. We did it, man. Holy shit. We got over that? an hour. Fuck. Um. Uh, dude, this was. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorites. This was so fucking fun. <laughs> this is so funny. So funny. Um, I'm trying to think of any other facts. Uh, oh, I want to talk about something to fucking end it off. Let me grab it real quick, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. All right, dude. We got some. Uh... Anyways, did you know? <laughs> I wanted to show off. I wanted to show off a new game that I got that. I've been playing that I like. That you like? Yeah. I have to close it. I'm going to reopen it so we can watch like the intro together. You probably played it. People that are watching probably played it. Oh, my battery's going to die. What does that say? Oh, I missed it. My screen is dirty as fuck! <laughs> can, we just get, play can we just get the intro on the, on the YouTubes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the shitty ass fucking camera. Stardew Valley, bro. Fuck <laughs> it, dude. Yeah, I've been playing this shit. Oh, it's so fun. Have you played it? No, I've never played it, but I know that this uh, guy, this comedian, uh, Bobby Lee, he like swears by it. He says that bro, it's, it's like, one of his so favorite fun. games. What do you do? It's Is like... it like a farming simulator? Bro, here, I'll just jump in real quick, dog. I've only played it for like not that long, so I, I'm not like those guys. I don't know that much about it. I've been watching videos to get more like knowledgeable on Stardew, so that when I'm playing it on my like world, I'm not you know as ignorant and you know. So it's like you start your fucking house. So later on, as you like progress through the game, I've seen other people's, and it's like all of this is filled with like more house. Like there's just more rooms you're able to like traverse through and shit. But I don't have that. I just have like. Damn, I suck. I can't do this. <laughs> right, right, right. You got one little room. And okay, then and then you go room. out. Yeah, and then it's like, yeah. So I have my... Uh, this was all, like, covered with dirt and, like, with uh, all this shit. So I've just gradually, like, cut it. But if I don't get rid of... Oh, you can't even see. But if I don't get rid of all these trees and shit, it'll eventually just grow back. Like, it's like Minecraft. It looks, it looks exactly like Terraria. If you ever played Terraria. Isn't there a thing where, like, you only have a certain amount of, like, mining or something a day? Yeah, you can only, like, you have energy. So, like, your guy will fucking knock out. Um, you can eat stuff, but I haven't really played it that much to, like, again, like, know exactly everything. But it's it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying playing it. Um, I would recommend. I know you've been playing Switch games. Or you've been playing on your Switch. I've been playing a lot of this, Switch games. This is super fun. It's like a pastime um, thing, maybe. I've been hearing a lot about it. It's just that's came out in two thousand like fourteen or something. Yeah, shit. So I know. I, I know. It's su I know. It's like you know. It's something that's been around. It's just I. I feel like that's the type of game that's probably good for me because I need something for my pastime, especially on the weekend where I just can't, dude. I don't know what I can't get into a story mode right now I, for the life of me, bro. I just yeah. have and no energy cool. for it. This one's cool because yeah, it's like you take care of a farm. Um, and there's tons of shit. Look it up, like, when we're done recording here. Um, it's on sale all the time. It's I got a Switch. I could play it, like, on the Switch. But they have it on the PC. That's where, like, majority of people play it. Um, that's where it originally launched was on Steam. Um, but, yeah, no, I've been playing that. And then me and Madeline have been playing Gauntlet on uh, on Steam. I almost bought this version where it came with, like, four copies. Then you can give it to the your friends to play with you. But I didn't. I should have. Stardew but, Valley. No Gauntlet. Oh Gauntlet. Yeah, I we're playing like the new update. It's like also like 2014 or 2015 version of Gauntlet. I don't know if you ever played Gauntlet. Plays like Diablo, um, dungeon crawler. You know, where you're just. But this one's like a a dual stick type thing. Instead of like where you're moving and pushing A and B to like use your shit, you're like, yeah, super fun, super fun. I enjoy Maybe playing I'll that with it. How, how, how much is Stardew Valley? On uh, I got it on the Switch for uh, $10. It was like 11 bucks, but I had some points on there. Um, but it's probably 
15 bucks wherever you find it on steam it's probably on sale with that summer sale they're doing oh that's um, right there's a big ass summer sale right now with all but the on games. the switch on the switch right now yeah bro you could get it for 11.99 i think it was it might be even cheaper it might actually be um I'm on sale right now dude yeah fun game if i don't like Alrighty. it i want my fucking ten dollars back <laughs> have you played Bioshock? <laughs> no that's what i'm telling you bro i have like no energy to like play anything like by the time the weekend comes i just want to shut the doors lay down and watch tv in my own filth for two days yeah, <laughs> i don't funny. know what it is dude i just like i lost all like mojo to play games lately like i just want to sit down and do nothing yeah i've just been yeah i've been i'll sit down and play cod and i'm like I'm not having fun. And then I'll just grab my Switch, I'll sit on the couch, and I'll play some whatever on the Switch. Put a movie on. Like, I've been watching movies by myself lately. Um, usually I'll just play games until Madeline gets here. Um, like, last yeah. week, I went to the movies three times by myself. Yeah, see, that's, like, kind of what I've been doing. Like, I've been re-watching animes. Like, One Piece, bro, I went from zero to, like, oh, I think it's 480. Right, I'm at 480 right now because that's just, I just sit there and just... Going the fuck out for fucking hours, dude. Like, if you know what's funny is that you probably saved the day from this podcast because if you wouldn't have said nothing, I probably would have been over there in my bed watching anime. <laughs> I'm dead yeah, bro. serious. I was, I was like, thinking about it. I was like, is he gonna hit me up? Yeah, I was like, you know what? It's fucking Monday, dude. God damn it, we gotta do a podcast. Yeah, we gotta hang out, man. We do, man. We keep saying that, and it just. Keeps... <laughs> I mean, now that we have, uh, you know, the same schedule, we we should set it up for real. I'm we here, bro. This... Yeah, we do have the same schedule, so we could set up on the weekends. And do All right, something. let's wrap up this video. We're just like, going I know, off. we're just rambling. <laughs> <laughs> so how's your day? How man? is your day, man? How's your week been? We haven't seen each other for two weeks. I fucking miss you, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Yeah, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is one of my favorite ones so far. I keep saying that for every episode. I just feel like we're like doing better every That's single good. one. So, but yeah, I appreciate everybody. Tell me some random facts that you guys know, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be cool. And, yeah, so uh, I hope you guys have a great morning, day, afternoon, or night. And, uh,. This is Easy Mac. Follow me on any social medias. This is I'm Dubs. Follow him on I Dubs or you know any of his other socials. Check out Stardew Valley, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's fun. It's uh yeah. This is the double. Th we hit episode ten, my guy. What the fuck? I'm always behind. We should have ten facts. Ten facts. What about next time? We gotta re-record it. Start over. Redo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Maybe we'll do something special for episode 20. Okay, we'll yeah, think about man. it. We'll think about it. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and then we'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Bye. All I right. Just started Valley, though. So fun. It's uh, it's very. <laughs>